I'm going to share with you 10 valuable tips as a college student so that you can stop wasting your time and have enough time to do whatever it is that you want while passing all your classes starting right now. What's going on, you stressed college students out there? My name is Andres Mena, and I am a college student such as yourself, but unlike yourself, I am not stressed because I have been able to implement these essential time management skills during my first semester here studying in California. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to become a more personally effective person, then why don't you help a starving college brother out by subscribing and hitting that notification bell while you're at it. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the tips. Tip number one, establish a sustainable routine. A sustainable routine means a routine that you know for a fact that you will be able to stick to no matter what the circumstances. We are creatures of habit. The more accustomed we get to a schedule, the better we are prepared to handle the tasks because we know they are coming. By setting sustainable routines, your body and your mind will become more accustomed to these practices. You will become more aware of what you're doing and where your time is going, thus relieving more stress and allowing you to free up more time to do whatever it is that you wanna do. Tip number two, prioritize your tasks. Do this exercise with me. Get a piece of paper and write down all the tasks that you need to complete for the day. Secondly, create a priority system. This means that you need to assign each of the tasks you just wrote down on a piece of paper and give them a priority. This can be from one to 10, from one to five, or you can find whatever priority system that works best for you. Lastly, tackle your tasks from most priority to least priority. That way you can get out of the way those tasks that are crucial and you can free up more time to do the rest of them later. Prioritizing your tasks is the difference between people who are busy and people who are efficient. Tip number three, identify time wasters. What is it exactly that is taking your focus away from your tasks? Write it down on a piece of paper, be specific about it so that you can know what is it exactly that is avoiding you from achieving personal efficiency. Rather than engaging in this activity, use it as an incentive, as a reward for you after you have completed your task in order to treat yourself. It is a great way of being more productive and getting what you need to get done without getting distracted in the process. Tip number four, one at a time, people, one at a time. A study from the University of Sussex, London, showed that those who multitasks see a loss in their IQ similar to those who didn't sleep the night before. Therefore, it is logical that in order to be more personally effective and more productive and manage your time better, you should focus on one task at a time rather than trying to tackle multiple tasks simultaneously. That clearly doesn't work and it will just slow you down. I personally believe that quality trumps quantity in almost all cases. Now, what do you guys think? <laughs> Type it down in the comments below. Tip number five, avoid the planning fallacy. So what is the planning fallacy? Well, the planning fallacy is a type of confirmation bias where people believe that they have more time than they actually do in order to complete a task. So this may be familiar to most of us college students because we all think that we can get it done in the morning right before class and next thing we know, we're struggling to get to class in the first place. In other words, this essentially means that we tend to be unrealistic with our time management goals. So what can we do to solve this issue? Well, acting as if we have less time than we actually do in order to complete a task will allow us to have a buffer of time that we can fall back on if anything goes wrong. Therefore, try to give yourself a 20% buffer of time. That means that try to cut the time that you need to complete a task. That way you have a 20% buffer of time that you can rely on. Tip number six, learn to delegate. Ooh, this is a great one. I love this one because essentially what it is, is that you should ask the people that are close to you, your friends, your family, your loved ones, to take care of a task for you that you would that would normally take much of your time so that you can focus on a high priority task that you have set out for yourself. So for example, if you're in college like me and you have a big project coming up, you gotta focus most of your time on this project, but at the same time you have other responsibilities like you gotta clean your room, well, tell your roommate, 
clean the room. <laughs> and most likely, if they are nice, they will do it for you and it will free up a good amount of time for you so that you can focus on that big project that you got coming up. You can apply this in many multiple other ways, whatever way that you can think of, that would be amazing. You can use this strategy multiple different ways. You just gotta figure out what is it that is sticking up a decent amount of your time, but it's actually a low priority task and somebody else could take care of it for you. If people are nice, they sure will do it. Tip number seven, break up big tasks. This is a big one for college students. For example, if your professor makes you write a 20 page report, you probably are going to feel a little, maybe very overwhelmed and you're gonna be stressed about it all week long and it's just not a good place to be. However, if your professor were to give you only a two page report, you would think it's easy bro. I will knock this out of the park. Just give me five minutes. I'll write it in the morning, no problem. Now. If you were to break up this task into smaller pieces, say two pages a day, then you can get this whole 20 page report done in just 10 days. Therefore, divide the number of pages or the amount of work you, you need to get done by the number of days you have until its completion. That way you will get a better idea of how much smaller parts of the project you need to get done on the daily. And remember, don't forget to add that buffer because you're not going to be able to stick to that daily routine. Trust me, I've tried it and it went wrong. You don't want to be there. Tip number eight, take time off. Now, this is probably one that college students take a little bit in the excess side of things, of the scale, a little too much time off, but it is still an essential one to keep in mind because you do not want to get burnt out. Burning out is one of the biggest conditions that will make you stay away from being the best productive self that you can be. Therefore, it is important to take time for ourselves in order to avoid this burnout stage that most college students go through. Now, one of my favorite quotes from Bruce Lee goes like this long-term consistency trumps short-term intensity this same concept applies to long work hours or long study sessions by taking a little bit of a break you can remain consistent and finish your work in the long run tip number nine sleep i mean really sleep not just like four hour nap wake up get some work done watch some youtube and then fall back asleep no you need good quality sleep i cannot stress this enough sleep as college students this is a very hard one sleep is known to be one of the largest impediments of productivity and this is not only present in college students this is present all across the board everybody in an increasing digitalized era it is harder for us to disconnect and get good quality sleep and let's be real here you know most of us college students we want to go out have fun go out with our friends go out party and a lot of that, those activities are done very late at night. So most of the time we don't get that good quality sleep. At least I don't get that good quality sleep. But the least we can do is before a big project is coming up or before an exam is coming up, you gotta take an active effort into getting proper quality sleep because that will increase your productivity in ways that you cannot even imagine. So try it out for yourselves. Tip number 10, find inspiration. This is my favorite one because whenever I'm feeling burnt out, this is the one I go to in order to get me through. At times where I'm feeling burnt out, I tap into my end goal, I visualize it, and I know I don't have any time to waste. So that end goal, whatever it is for you, it might be different than for me. For me, it's just to be the best I can possibly be. That is my end goal. And I know if I don't have time to waste, I just think about what it is that I really want to achieve. And that thought, will just get me through. That is why having a clear vision of whatever it is that I want to achieve is one of the biggest things that has helped me get through that burnout process. You can also find motivation anywhere, really. Whatever it is that motivates you, I don't know what it is, type it down in the comments below, let me know. Everybody has a different source of motivation. You just gotta tap into it whenever you feel like you want to give up at whatever it is that you're doing. Trust me, it will get you through. You will be surprised at how much productive you can be just by a simple shift in mindset. At the top right corner of the screen, you can answer which tip was most useful to you so that you can share with all of us. And if you have a tip that works for you that I did not mention, please let us know in the comment below. You know, stress college students, 
really need the help. So just type it down. Why not? If you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it, why don't you just smash that like button, you know, subscribe, hit that notification bell while you're at it. I never thought these words would come out of my mouth, but here I am. Thank you for watching all the way through to the second video. Um, right now, we are currently at seven subscribers. So we're going for that eighth one. Whoever is the eighth one, I will love you forever. Um, you know, hashtag the hustle is real, going strong. You know how it is. You know how we do <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one and don't forget time is money